Hello students, uh, this is Vinod from Endurance Engineering Academy. So in this particular video, I'm going to talk about uh, gate XC and gate ME. See, most of you guys uh, might be having this confusion once after the release of, uh, the, once after the starting of the registration for gate exam, you might be thinking that, sir, like, um, I have a confusion whether to go for gate ME, that is, I need to give my preference to gate ME or I need to give preference to gate XE, that is, which paper to give prefer preference. See, before, before going into that, you might have a doubt, sir, like, whether I need to go for uh, ME plus XE or uh, PIE plus ME, that is, like, whether to go for production plus uh, uh, mechanical engineering or you want to you are preferring to go for um, engineering science plus mechanical engineering maybe this confusion might be there with few students i have made a detailed video about this that is the second paper which paper you need to choose the second paper like how you can plan your second paper all those things last year itself okay that, that is for gate 2022 itself so again i don't want to repeat the same video so i'm not making it again but instead i'm adding that uh, video to the description you can go through it okay by going through that video you will be able to clearly understand which one you need to prefer. That is whether you need to prefer ME plus XE or you need to prefer uh, ME plus PA. Okay. So once after the decision, once after going through the video, you had took a decision that you need to go for ME and XE. And but still, which one should be my first priority and which one should be my second priority? See, this first priority and second priority doesn't have anything to deal with your uh, your exam. Okay. Which means what I was meant to say is. When you are applying, you can give ME as your first preference or XE as your pre first preference. It doesn't matter at all. Okay, you give anything as you wish. But here the preference is related to your mindset. That is which one you are going to focus on, which one you are going to more focus on and which one you are going to focus less on. Okay, so whether you are going to focus uh, for mechanical engineering more or XE more. Okay, right. So that is what we are going to go through in this video. So let us start the video. Right, so let us start the video. So first of all, uh, gate XE or gate ME. The thing is, like, which one you, which are, which is, which is your aim? That is, which is your final aim? Whether you are planning for a public sector or you are planning for something like related to public sector, maybe BARC, okay, or you are planning for an ISRO exam or state level competitive exam, anything, anything which is related to a job, okay, which is not related to your master's degree, anything which is related to a job then there is no other doubt go for me there is no other doubt give your complete preference to me and then keep xc as a side that is as a second preference it, you should not give more preference to xc focus completely on me there is no doubt about it if you fall under this category directly me only you should not have any dilemma in your mindset okay so that is the first thing which i wanted to say even before starting the video okay right so first of all, after once after starting the video, like there are three categories of students I want to talk about. The first category is ME, that is the students who are giving uh, full preference to ME with an attempt for XE, or a student who is giving full preference for XE with an attempt for ME, or a student who is completely planning for XE. See, for like there are three different categories of students, and I'm going to suggest for uh, which students all these three will be suitable. That is for which which category of students these three will be uh, suiting you. If suppose I have not listed your category, suppose if you are not falling under any of this category, let us consider this is category one. Okay, it is category one, category two, and category three. Most of the majority of the students will be falling under any one of this category. Okay, so you might be knowing like, once after discussing about the category, you'll be knowing it. So if you are not falling under any of this category then you can you can uh, you can discuss with me personally comment in the comment um, in this video itself i will talk about it uh, later okay maybe in a separate video or i will uh, i will guide you in the comment section itself okay right let us come back uh, to the first category that is me full preference with just an attempt for xc who should do this that is which student should do this simple a student who planned for gate me properly from the beginning maybe from february or march or a student has taken a break from april may june okay a student who is planning for gate and me properly and he made some schedule and he is following that schedule properly 
okay he is just following the schedule properly um without what is that without much of a, a dilemma i could say so he is having a clear cut idea that he is planning for gate me and he invested a good amount of time maybe 6 months or so okay so he is already in a right path okay so that is the category 1 student he is already in a right path he already decided that gate me is something which he is going to plan for so now please don't get confused because there is a chance right like you might be in a clear path but now you might get confused after seeing two papers three papers like you can attempt two papers and all by going through that you might get a confusion so sir like do i uh, which paper i need to give the preference xe or me or something like that so don't don't uh, bring that uh, into your uh, preparation process you are already in a proper terms you are already in a proper uh, path so go in that so give me a complete prefer, uh, preference concentrate on get me take test series uh, take the question banks or etc etc go for that is give the get me uh, uh, thing full priority and then just give an xe for an attempt okay just give xe for an attempt see why i am saying that given xe for an attempt even though you prepared very 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 well for get me there are there are chances that sometimes it might it might go bad but of course You can stay positively, but we need to be practical also. So there is a chance for going going bad. So with this preparation for ME, you will able to attempt XC. Okay, around eighty percent of the syllabus was same only, so you will able to attempt it. If you choose um, thermodynamics and uh, solid mechanics, then obviously like around ninety percent of the syllabus will be same only. Okay, so you don't have to worry much. Okay, when it comes to giving an attempt for XC. Okay, so keep your complete preparation properly with ME. give xc an attempt what you can do was at least you can you can take some mock test some five or six mock test for xc other than that keep your complete preparation for me that is whatever you are doing presently uh, taking notes uh, that is revising and then uh, uh, taking the test series properly and all those things follow it okay so that is category 1 okay now coming to category 2 students what actually category 2 students are supposed to do that is who are the category 2 students Uh, a student who planned for gate me okay he planned for gate me in the month of maybe maybe april may or june july or whatever he planned for gate me he started his preparation for gate me but he is not able to follow it properly because of the wide syllabus or because of its situation because of his or her situation anything okay a student is not able to follow uh, his me preparation properly we all know that right because gate me is little bit uh, what is that broad the syllabus is little bit broad compared to xc so there is a chance for you guys to get stuck in between there is a chance for you guys to what i could say uh, not to go according with the plan which you made so you made a plan but you are not able to go with the plan you feel that okay i have i have completed very less amount of topic and uh, the balance time which ever left out approximately 4 to 5 months the balance time which ever is left out is not going to be that much sufficient for uh, what is that sufficient for me preparation okay and then you will fall under the second category so now the second category states give your complete preference to xc but folk but just give an attempt for me okay which means what you should do take give xc focus preparation xc fo xc focus syllabus uh, um covering xc focus test series xc focus question bank xc focused uh, what is that um everything like everything has to be related to xc focus the complete focus should be on xc and then give your me syllabus just an attempt just give an attempt to your gate me okay so like what you did in case of one in case of that there is a students who are in case of one they will keep me as complete preference and xc as a part similarly here do completely xc and uh, give me as a part okay now i hope you understood the difference between category 1 and 2 category 1 student those who tried for gate me and those who are uh, preparing for gate me properly uh, so i don't want to distract them go with gate me just given attempt for gate xc second and uh, those who try, those who tried preparing for gate me but they are not able to uh, focus on gate me properly so they are not able to follow the schedule properly now they got stuck and they feel that they are not able to complete the syllabus in time then give your complete pre preference to gate xc and keep your gate me as um, just for an attempt that is the second category okay 
now comes a very interesting third category uh, a student who I'm, who i am asking them to focus only on xc not even not even not even to think about anything else okay who are they very simple see suppose you are a student who are going to start your preparation just from today okay so you see in the gate exam notification okay and once after going through the gate exam notification you are thinking that okay let me try a gate let me give gate for it and obviously if you try to give gate me you won't able to complete the syllabus or you won't able to um, do gate me properly okay that is you won't able to complete the preparation process properly so you will get stuck obviously you might you might be in a what is that in between okay so whether like you won't able to complete the syllabus fully you won't able to uh, balance the test series and all, and all okay so if you are a very beginner okay a complete beginner today is the first day you are getting to know about gate or today or maybe with before one week or before 10 days you get to know about gate and uh, you are planning to start your preparation obviously you, you are left out with some 4 to 4 and a half months okay so in this 4 to 4 and a half months you can have Really prefer prepare for gate xc and give complete preference to gate xc okay obviously with gate xc you won't able to go for public sector exams i'm i'm sure about it but um by you but instead of uh, focusing on a huge syllabus for this four months whatever you could do you can you can do that right so that is what my suggestion is see of course if you are planning for public sector if you get to know about gate now and if you are planning for public sector plan for gate 2024 no doubt you, you you have to plan for gate 2024 but if you are planning for masters and if you are getting to know about gate now just now maybe within 10 days or within 15 days before 15 days so you can prefer uh, uh, xc okay prefer xc and give an attempt and give a good attempt which means which means prepare properly with a proper source take short notes main notes and formula notes properly take test series and uh, question bank um a proper practice and all those things so let's just i want you guys to give it give it complete focus for that okay that is the third category of students who get to know about gate now and uh, again they are having a dilemma whether to go for gate me or gate xc okay right see so these are the three category of students right so hopefully most of the students will be falling under these three category suppose i have given you the fourth category also you you have a mindset that you want to go for uh, public sectors only you don't want to go for masters you want to go for public sectors only but if you get to know about uh, gate now only okay you are you are getting to know about gate now only which means just now you get to know what is meant by gate okay then my preference is plan for gate 2024 don't plan for gate 2023 okay right now fine before before concluding it i i want to discuss few important points see if you are planning for gate me preparation or gate xc preparation i have made number of strategy videos i have made number of videos like how to prepare and how to uh, what to do uh, during your preparation what are the things you need to follow like which you need to give preference that is if you want to give preference to gate xcb or xcd like number of videos has been made uh, related to the preparation strategies and related to gate xc and gate me okay so i will attach the videos also in the description you can go through it so that will be very helpful for you in your gate 2023 preparation okay right so before that see the this is um, our uh, free telegram group which is available in the description like you can check out the group and also the channel uh, link in the description and join in the group uh, whenever we conduct free test and whenever we conduct free sessions it will be updated in that group so you can attend our free sessions you can attend our free test and uh, any uh, strategy sessions or guidance sessions anything which is related like whichever we wanted to share with uh, all the gate aspirants it will be done in that group okay so you can uh, join in that if you are planning for your gate me preparation and gate xc preparation the link was there in the description okay so now related to our uh, gate exam courses and also test series if you are planning for any anything like either you are planning for gate mechanical engineering or uh, engineering science we have online courses for um, mechanical engineering and engineering science both courses are comprehensive courses uh, i could say that uh, one of the best courses in india 
and also we have a comprehensive test series for both me and xc and for xc we have test series for uh, a b d and e which means uh, if you are planning to write uh, solid mechanics thermodynamics or uh, uh, or or fluid mechanics we have test series for you and a is obviously engineering mathematics which is common and it includes general aptitude also okay and when it comes to uh, what is that when it comes to me we have all like uh, the complete test series was there the details are there in our website you can check our website and coming to courses uh, if you are planning for engineering science the balance four months is the ideal time i said right you can use our course ideally for preparing your engineering science exam for the next four months okay so four to five months of course the last one month we can neglect we can remove it for uh, revision so four months for preparation effective preparation or one month for revision you can you can happily do that uh, with our course effectively for engineering science okay so um, so if you if you are interested in any of our courses you can contact us and uh, in our website okay in the website endurance you will be able to find out the details of the courses also okay thank you